Hi everybody, it's me Robin again, Keen Eye Hawker, and I wanted to share with you again some of my things, but I also want to put this up first. Keen Eye Hawker, my name is Robin Chef, and here is, uh, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, uh, here's my number, 907-717-8299. I'm going to share things with you that I really love, and you can call me, you can text me, um, you can correct me if I share something and it's not right or I think I know something and I don't. Um, that's okay too. I would love to hear from you. I live right in Midtown Anchorage and I am selling things out of my home and I'm doing this, it's not just for fun, uh, I do this to make a living. So if you see something that you like and you want to make an offer, I'm going to propose prices, but I'm open as long as if I, if I say it's 50 and you offer me 10, that's not good. <laughs> but, you know, get a little closer. So, all right, here we go. I want to share some of these things with you. So let me start off with the Bully Good dolls that I have here. Um, I'm not a big doll person because I don't know jack about dolls. Um, there's a lot to know, and I have too many other things going on to become a doll expert and it's not a passion. But people that have a passion for it might like this. So I'm gonna put my glasses on. All right, here we go. These are Bully Good dolls. These particular ones are from um, the 50s. And you can tell that, I went online and did all of this to find out. You see the little tags on the bottom? Which is a miracle that they have them. All of these Bully Good dolls, this is called, uh, let me see, it's called Skokum. Bully Good Indian dolls are made in the USA. A long time ago, from what I read, these were sold at gas stations. Now you, it's harder to find them. You can find them, but a lot of them aren't in very good condition. This guy, I mean, look at the face. The faces are so interesting, I think. Um, they're all wrapped, they don't have arms, they have legs and they're little moccasins. And all of them have the blankets around them. And I don't, I don't remember the name of the person that um, made them or originally made them. But by the, by the design of the tag on the bottom, that's how I found out that these were the ones, particular ones that were made in the 50s. There were some made in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Okay? So these, this pair is 100. And I'm... Not really negotiable on that. Uh, I have researched them and I know that they're pretty valuable and rare. So that's for a doll person. Now I have another doll here um, that's Alaskan. And I saw, and he has, the reason I like him is he has that same kind of a natural, real face. Do you see his face? I love his face. He has all this fur on him. So all my animal activist folks who are against fur just turn away and don't look at this one but this is what they have this is what they how he was made and everything on him is um, it's real fur he has a natural face I'm not gonna call him Eskimo because I know Inuit and uh, Tlingit do not like to be called Eskimo so I won't get it I'm not gonna do that I don't know what to call him but he's absolutely gorgeous and I saw these when I was in a store in Homer I was shocked at how much they cost. So I paid quite a bit of money for him, actually, but I would take $60 for this guy, and I know he's worth at least double that. So this would be a really nice guy to put in a collection, if you're interested. Okay, and if you are, you can call me at the 717-8299. Um, you can come by and take a look. Like I said, I am in Midtown at C Street and Fireweed, so feel free to stop by. Now, I want to share this vase with you. This is just gorgeous. Look at the size of that. Now, it looks bigger because I'm behind it, but look. Look at this. Look at the face. I mean, it's just beautiful. This is a Murano glass, and uh, I would need to get 45 for this, and that's a steal. I know it seems like I'm giving really high prices but honestly um, I paid money for these if they weren't for free and I want to give you guys a good price as well and I think even if you owned a store 
and you bought this, you would sell it for $80 to $120. It's a very beautiful vase, and you don't find them with that large flower face much anymore. Now, this is an interesting piece here, um, and this is for a unique person, you know, not everybody. Um, I think it's called a bola. I'm not sure, but I believe this was made in Argentina. So this is some kind of leather, most likely cow. It's quite tough and hard, so I'm imagining that it's um, cowhide. And again, I'm sorry for the animal activists, but this was made a long time ago. Here is a, the piece at the top has some kind of a resin in there, and I'm sure it's some kind of a natural resin. This was hung from a wall or from a saddle when they were you know, with their alpacas or whatever, hiking in the mountains. And uh, they filled it up with water or wine, depending. Now, I did notice that everything on here, everything is, of course, handmade um, and designed, but they did put a plastic end on here. And um, I did open it and smell inside, didn't smell wine, bummer. So that means it was probably used for water. And it's quite stiff, as you can see. This is just for somebody who likes weird stuff, interesting things that are, you know, hard to come by, and conversation pieces. So, and, oh, price for this, I don't know, um, $40? Make an offer. Not real open to a lot of uh, bickering on that because, uh, or dickering, because it's uh, very cool. Okay, now this thing, sorry for the scraping sound. This, I'm going to hold him up. Ooh, look at that. This is modeled after, and it's different on both sides. So there's a Buddha up here on this one. And then there's a different um, god on this side. So this is modeled directly after, um, this is not ivory. It's not bone. If it were, um, I would be on vacation now in Aruba. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not that. Uh, that would be, you know, at probably about, if it was ivory, it would be at least 10,000. It could be more. But this is modeled after an incense burner. So you see that it's cut out at the top, which is where the smoke would come out. So they've modeled it very closely, and it is really detailed. And this is the hole at the top where you would put the incense in. However, this is just a decorative piece. So you could lie and put this in behind glass and people would think you had a real ivory um, incense holder from, you know, a couple of hundred years ago. That's not the case. These were made in the 60s and they, as far as I know, they're not making them anymore. So that's interesting in itself to me. Um, it is uh, an Asian piece and it is... Um, you know, just for decoration, you cannot put incense in there because it's made out of a resin. And that would be a real big mess if you did that. Okay, so anyone who's interested in this, this is uh, $50. And I think that's a steal. All right, and I have another piece here. Oops, I did that thing again with the hand. This is completely different. Take a look at this. Here, let me get my dolls out of the way. This is a storage container. And you see all the bright colors on this? Isn't that cool? They've all been welded together. And you can set it up like this. You can set it up like this. It has a little sun on here. I think whoever owned it, maybe it was a kid or somebody who knows, they put that on there and I just left it on. But it has these wonderful colors. You can put pencils, you can put um, papers, whatever. It's just a really creative storage place, I think. So I would take $20 for this, and I think it's worth it. I think it's really cool. I'm going to put that down. I want to show you a painting that I got. Take a look. Can you see this? Okay. This is a raven, and it is hand-painted. Um, it's not mass-produced or anything like that. This was made in Alaska. It doesn't have an artist name on it. So I would sell this for 20 and like I said, it's real, and it's really pretty. I think it's kind of stunning looking. So $20, not bad. 
Um, I do have another piece I'd like to share that's really uh, quite old and quite gorgeous and really different from anything I've seen up here. Can you see this? I wish I could show you better. Um, the frame is old and this is on velvet. This is velvet. This was done many years ago and I it caught my eye. Um, it's a silhouette, obviously, and someone's crying and their eye is full of tears. Uh, this wouldn't be for anyone or everyone because it's kind of sad, but it's very moving and I buy art that moves me. And if this moves you and you'd like to have it, give me a call. I'm not sure really what to ask for this. I think, um, you know, $60 would be fair. I've been collecting uh, a lot of these um, paintings that are painted on velvet, but it has to be something that's uh, really unique, really interesting to me. Um, and this was just uh, stunning. So here she is. Okay. And I have a couple of more things I'd like to share. I have another doll. Sorry. Um, she is just gorgeous. And I spotted her. Now she has little red boots. Red boots. And apparently, I, I like I said, I don't know anything about dolls. This is a, a doll that dances. Uh, not a doll that dances. She represents a dance that happens. Um, I believe it's in uh, Ukraine. And the whole getup, I didn't know what to do. I bring these things home and I sit down with Google and Pinterest, just like anybody else, and start researching, which is fun for me. And I thought, well, I don't know even what to research here. You know, she has a porcelain hand-painted face. Can you see her little face? Pretty, huh? And uh, I thought, well, the red boots are kind of odd. So I put in red boots. Oh, there's this dance that women do with these little outfits on. Um, and this is all hand embroidered, by the way, uh, with red boots. I don't know what they call it in Ukraine, but it's the red boot dance. Wee! <laughs> so... Uh, there's one other thing I want to share, and I've had it up here a few times, but I haven't shared it yet because I'm hesitating because I really like it and I don't know if I want to sell it. But here it is. You see this? This is a fishing boat from Samoa. And I have, I've researched this. This was not made for tourists. This was, um, I don't know who it was made for but it's absolutely gorgeous and the only ones I could find um, are in uh, the Museum of New Zealand Natural History Museum and this is a real fine example I only found two they were not for sale so I'm not sure about this what to even ask um, it's supposed to have another piece right here that would hook into this and I know that because the one at the museum is the exact model not as big and it has the other buoy that it, this fits into so it's a support system as it glides through the water just a like a long piece that would keep it from doing this okay and there's a spear on the top and I, I think this is I'm not sure what this is anyway uh, I would have to start at sixty dollars and um, I think that's probably a really good deal. If anyone is interested in this, it's made from uh, wood that's in that um, region in Samoa. And on this side, this is what I was told by a Samoan woman. This is the flag of Samoa. Uh, this is um, representative of a, a gathering um, building or a place. I'm not sure what she, can't remember what she said. And this is just, you know, it says Samoa at the end. Um, like I said, it's not made for tourists. From what I was told, this is uh, very different. Okay, so I think we're done. And I did long again. I went long again. Sorry about that. I'm going to put my little sign up again. Here I am. I'm the Keen Eye Hawker. Um, I'm on YouTube. If you could subscribe, that would be awesome. If you could share, that would be awesome. The more people that see what I'm doing, the more people that will want what I have to offer. You don't have to be local. I will mail to you if you see something. And it's, you know, I'll find out what the mailing costs are and uh, 
we'll work something out so you can get what something if you like it we'll find a way to get it to you I will so Kenai Hawker I'm Robin Chef um, I'm on Facebook I'm on YouTube my phone number is 907-717-8299 uh, you can call or text me just say I'm looking for the Kenai Hawker I saw something that I'm interested in or I want to talk to you about something um, I'm interested in talking to you about anything that has to do with collecting and uh, if you just want to share something that you found that's really cool I'm good with that okay so this is Robin the Kenai Hawker signing off I'll see you later